in a linebacker class that definitely has some studs in it, but maybe isn't considered one of the deeper position groups. Many people have asked, who are some solid sleepers down the board who could end up having a pretty solid impact in the NFL? The linebacker position especially is one that tends to fall down boards, but you can certainly find some really good value in the latter half of the draft. North Carolina linebacker Cedric Gray is widely considered to be one of the top linebackers in the draft class. A very good athlete who has some really nice traits. How high will Gray end up being selected in the 2024 draft? That is what we will be going over in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in the next video. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Cedric Gray. Cedric Gray has filled the stat sheet in a lot of different ways for the Tar Heels over the last few seasons. In 2022, Gray finished the season with 144 total tackles, one sack, three forced fumbles, and two interceptions for the Tar Heels. His production was off the charts, and he continued that going into 2023, where he finished the year with 121 total tackles, five sacks, two forced fumbles, and an interception. He has been incredibly productive, and while UNC didn't have the season they were hoping, Gray had an incredible individual season in both back-to-back -back seasons, and he could be one of the top linebackers to come off the board. Gray has some solid size for the inside linebacker position. He is 6'2", 234, and I really like the frame he plays with. He has some solid length, and if I was a general manager, I would be pretty excited about his size profile if I got him on my team. Gray's quickness is something that really stuck out to me. Even though he ran a 4'6'4", which is still a solid time for a linebacker, I think he plays much quicker than that on the field. He is a very good athlete, who moves really well in the open field, who has great change of direction, and the speed and quickness to trigger downhill very quickly. Whether in run defense or in coverage, Gray had the quickness and speed to make a nice play on the football, which I love to see. Gray has very good timing on blitzes, and when coming downhill to stop the run. He plays with a high motor, and he's constantly in pursuit of the football. Gray was used a lot as a center fielder in zone coverage. He could be a very good quarterback spy if you need him to be, and North Carolina used him a lot in that role. One thing I would like to see more from him is more one-on-one -on -one coverage reps, but I know Gray has the athleticism to play in that role. He's an experienced player, and he showed some great reps in zone coverage. He does a great job at reading the quarterback's eyes, and he has a quickness to close on the football. The most concerning issue about Gray are his missed tackles. Especially in the run game, Gray has the tendency to take some pretty bad angles, and he has racked up far too many missed tackles in his career. In three years for the Tar Heels, Gray has 57 missed tackles. That is way too many missed tackles, and I want to see him do a better job at improving the angles he takes and finishing the play. A lot of it stems from over pursuing the football, and he will fly so far down that before he realizes it, he's already out of position to make a play. Another area of Gray's that I wasn't particularly fond of was he did have the tendency to struggle to play through contact and shed blockers. This was something else I noticed repeatedly, and I would like to see him develop a couple of moves to get a, do a better job at, him, at shedding blockers. I also noticed Gray was easily fooled on RPOs and play actions, and I would like to see his play recognition improve just a bit. Cedric Gray is a really athletic player who's been incredibly productive. He has the tools and coverage and shows some upside, but missed tackles are a concern and not something I'm in love with. Gray is my linebacker six. I think he can certainly improve, but there are just a couple of guys that I think are a little bit more complete as prospects. Cedric Gray to me is a perfect inside linebacker and quarterback spy at the NFL level. I think that's where I was most impressed with him. He can come downhill and stop the run, he can drop into zone coverage, and I think he is absolutely perfect for that role in the NFL, whether it be in a 3-4 or a 4-3. I think he is the ideal middle linebacker. 
My player comparison for Cedric Gray is New York Giants linebacker Bobby Okereke. They both have nearly identical size and both do a very good job as run defenders and in zone coverage. Coming out of Stanford, Okereke had a number of missed tackles and it was a big concern with him, but he's cleaned that up and turned himself into a premier linebacker in the league. If Gray can clean up some of his issues, I could see him being one of the top guys simply due to his athleticism and his coverage abilities. Cedric Gray is a great linebacker prospect. I love his size, I like his athleticism, and I think he has good abilities in the run, even though he has some missed tackles. Ultimately, I believe that Cedric Gray will be a top 100 pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.